Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're gonna unbox the very brand new Walmart exclusive Retro Morphin Power Rangers. This is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Retro Style as they have brought them back and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room coming from my room to yours. And today we are going to unbox and review the very brand new Walmart exclusive Retro Morphin Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the retro style as they are bringing it back. As you could tell, this card is a lot shorter than the original. I have the original set. I have them put away. I looked for them. I just don't remember where, which bin I put them in for I could have compared the two, but I guarantee that the boxes on the original ones are way bigger than these ones but this is jason the red ranger and the way that we found this guy okay listen up folks this guy uh is up for pre-order right now at walmart uh go to walmart.com it is a walmart exclusive they're doing pre-orders and it doesn't come out until march 12 2021 uh so go on check it out hit your pre-orders in they released four of them. This is Jason. They're, they're going to release Billy, Zach, and Kimberly. For some reason, they've left out the Yellow Ranger. Don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully, in the future, we can get a White and a Green Ranger. That would be nice. Let's turn this box to the side. This is a Hasbro product. Ages four and up. The way that I got him, I got him today. I walked into a Walmart just looking for like star wars figures i was looking for some star wars figures uh i pretty much have most of the power rangers the six inch versions uh in my collection already uh, i did not expect to see this i was wondering i'm like wow what is this is this like a bootleg what's going on with this i just could not figure it let me turn it around because i'm going to open it again you can see the back there's the four that they're going to release and it rang up. It rang up $9.99. $9.99 US dollars. Um, I did not know that this thing was not out yet. Uh, apparently somebody probably got their hands on the rest of the set. If not bought a few cases. I don't know. I got this at Walmart here in the Bay Area. And um, not unless they put them back. And But this was not register locked. It came through. And we got it. It was the only one there. I looked and looked for the rest of them. I could not find them. Uh, so I'm going to hit up Walmart again this uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try and go early. See if I could find one. Um, go the rest of the week as well. Because I want to find the rest of these guys. Because these are awesome. Alright folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this guy right now. A little different than most of my reviews you see them there we're gonna pop them out he brings his sword get a good look at that let's turn it around right there you can see the handle okay and then his gun These are to replicate like the 94, 95 ones, I believe. I could be wrong on those dates. Uh, I would have to look at my original set to see. And I have them put away somewhere. That's a little faceplate that's in there. And Hasbro has given us the little instruction sheet. There you go. I can't read any of that. Just way too small for me. All right, let's set this aside. And here we have Jason the Red Ranger. He feels weird, okay? And a lot of you are probably going to wonder, does he have a date on him to separate him from the original? And if there is, it's going to be on the bottom of his feet, which I cannot see any of that. So you could take a look at that. Maybe I can maneuver it around. Let's see if we can get that light on, son. There you go. Okay, let's see if we can focus it in. Turn, just turn the light up a little bit more. 
All right. Because all the Power Ranger fans out there are probably dying to see this. But anyway, it seems to have a date there. Right here. And then it seems to have some more writing on that foot. This is more of a stamp. This is actually engraved writing on that foot. All right. We're going to check him out right here. His head does not move side to side, does not spin around because it's a Morphin Ranger. So let's see. There you go. It has a little twist, little puncher on the back and it morphs his head around. You see that? Just like the originals did. This guy works pretty good. Let's see if his gun goes in his holster right there on the side. If you're a Power Ranger fan and you collect these guys, it's pretty close to the originals. But I feel that you could tell them apart due to the plastic, due to the material of these. First, first the way that they were. Okay, arms move up the way that the Power Rangers always did. Okay, does he have swivel? He has swivel at the elbow. Look at this, it's very unique. Swivel at the elbow. Does he have any swivel at the top of the glove? No, he does not. No movement in his hands. Um, he does have a joint to bend his elbow. It was a little stiff right there. But once you swivel it in the right position, that's about as far as you're going to get on that. Okay, let's go to the other arm. Same thing. Not very much. These are to replicate the old ones. So, but they do have a nice swivel right there, which I don't think the old ones had. Okay, I could be mistaken, but I never took mine out the package, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, no way swivel, no nothing, just a basic figure. And then the legs, that's about, yeah, not much. It's just a very toyetic toy. It's for ages four and up. I don't know, maybe I was looking in the wrong section. Maybe I should have went to the little kid section. Look at the stretch on this guy, though. He has like a like that hinge right there on his hip that's just sticking right out and he has one over there too and it allows him to do that this is just toyeticness and he has the swivels yeah like i said in the knees knee bends there you go other leg super nice and that's about it folks all right let me spin his head around to the original position see if i can See how he'll hold his weapon. See if I can get that in his hand. There you go. Jason the Red Ranger. And if you want to if you want to compare him, because he's he's roughly about let's see here. Um yeah, he's around five and a half inches tall. And then Centimeters wise, let's see here. Yeah, he's roughly close to around 14. Give or take. And then when you collect, when you want to put them next to some of the bigger figures that they have, like the, the, the deluxe version of the Mighty Morphin's Power Rangers pumpkin wrapper. Okay, that's also available. Right now you can find him easily on the shelves. Look at the size difference. Huge difference. I mean, I cannot tell you the difference. But anyway, folks, that's it. That's it for my review today. Um, so we're going to wrap this thing up and we're going to be right back. Folks, so that'll do it from here from Mo's Toy Room. And hopefully you liked what you saw. And which leads us to this. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and subscribe. Uh, also hit that bell for notifications. So that way you know when the next video like this one hits and like this one it's gonna hit also you can follow us on instagram at most toys it's m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s most toys we are also on tiktok where we do unbox videos as i get it in the mail and you will see the items as i see them for the very first time and we do a few other videos like that where i've showed off some of my vintage star wars collection which is just massive but i did a small one minute video on some of it and got it up there you can check all that out and also you can see a lot of Power Rangers stuff, which is also making it to TikTok and Instagram. And also 
we have a lot of things coming in the future and you know that I have been delivering. So please do so and hit that subscribe. And from Mo's Toy Room to yours, everyone, hey, get out there to Walmart. I found this one and it wasn't register locked, folks. Uh, from Mo's Toy Room to yours, good night, everyone.